Welcome back to Arson Girl Plays. Hey, I'm back in Liptopia, and I'm looking at their update that came out on Friday. And you can see I'm at the beach because this update is a very beach delicious update. It's all about summer and the beach, and you guys know summer and the beach are two of my favorite things. So we're gonna check it all out. So the first thing is you'll notice we have a beach glow up. Yes, we have volleyball. We have a new lifeguard job. We have an ice cream truck where we can actually come over and get some ice cream. Oh, I'm going to take a whole pint with me because it's hot and I'm hungry. And yeah. So anyway, we also have a new singer job. And you'll notice that there is a bandstand here in the middle of the beach now so that we can have some music and entertainment while we're hanging out playing beach volleyball or... Building a sandcastle, yes! I'm gonna try to build my best sandcastle here, guys. Oops, let's see what we can do. Oh, that was bad, that was bad. I'm not very talented at this. <gasps> Perfect, what did I build? Yes, I built a little sandcastle, it's so cute, yay! Anyway, you guys, there's a bunch of different sandcastles you can build depending on your skills, so get out here and uh, start building those sandcastles. There's also a new little beach shower, so we can come over here, wash off all the sand from our fun day at the beach. There are some lounge chairs, yes, catching some sun. I know it's almost sunset, so uh, not a lot of sun to be caught right now, but you know, I'm trying. I love laying out at the beach. There are also some other new items that you can get. So like there's this ring and a ball and a chair and a fishing rod. Let's just try all of them out. So first of all, I want to show you the chair. It's kind of cool. So you equip it and then you can spawn it anywhere and then you can sit in it wherever you put it. So now you have your own way to put down your own furniture, which is kind of fun. We could have a whole bunch of friends here at the beach and just make our own little circle of seats. There's also this ring where we can go in the water and it turns into a flotation device once we're wearing it in the water. Then there's this ball which we can throw in the water. We can also use that over here to play beach volleyball. So let me equip it again once I get here. If I had somebody here with me, we could be throwing the ball back and forth and playing beach volleyball together, which is so much fun. Then of course, the jet skis and stuff are here. We've got a little lounge area. We still got the rowboats, yay. There's just all kinds of fun stuff. There is also a new game pass, uh, which I'm gonna talk about in just a minute. But first, I wanna show you fishing because this is really cool. So you just cast your line, then wait for your fish to bite, and then you just uh, click, 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 and you catch a fish. Oh my gosh, I caught a fish. And then it goes in your inventory and you can actually play with it during this gameplay session, which is really, really fun. Take it home and throw it on the barbecue, in my opinion. Yeah, let's eat some fish. Okay, then let's talk about this Game Pass. Now, the Game Pass I do not have, but I will hopefully be showing it off to you in a future video, so stay tuned for that. But you can see all of these little items that are marked, like the little palm trees. That is for this Game Pass. So it is a summer pass. It is 499 Robux. Uh, 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 a UFO is approaching. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to talk about that because that is new as well. But let's finish with the summer pass really quick. It includes all of these items you see marked with the palm trees as well as this vehicle that is marked. And there is a house that is marked as well. Let me show that off to you really quickly. Right here, you can see the house. It is a beach house. Like I said, I'm gonna find out all the details about this game pass because there's no description on the website yet. So as soon as I can get that information, I'm gonna buy this game pass and I'm gonna show you everything that's in it firsthand. But I just wanted to let you know it was there so that you could buy it if you were interested before I cover it. If not, that is fine as well. And there was another new tree house added to the game, which I will also be showing in a future video. It requires three 
friends on the server at the same time to unlock it. So it's going to be a minute because I have to get out of my private server and have my friends in with me to go over that with you. But like I said, I am going to do a full house tour video of all the houses coming up soon on the channel. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on that one. Those are the changes that have happened so far, except for this UFO thing that's coming to town in very, very short amount of time. And we have to be ready for it. So let me get in my car. I'm going to drive to the center of town and see if I can be there. I think that's where the UFO is gonna spawn, somewhere around here. So let's uh, I'll just parallel park right here and hang out and wait. Oh, well, it's dark and there's the UFO. It is here, oh my gosh, okay. So if you click on the UFO here, it tells you take down the UFO. So that means we need to go to the top of the buildings that are closest to the UFO. This will take teamwork, guys. This will take teamwork because you can notice on some of the buildings now, there are guns. Now you have to get at one of the guns and like the Topia school has them right now. You have to get to the guns and then you have to shoot down the UFO. So this is a teamwork mission. This is not something that is very easily done by a singular person. I'm not even going to try. Oh, where is it? There it is. I'm not even going to try because by the time I get up there, it is not going to work. But what I recommend is getting a bunch of your friends in a server. And when that UFO gets here, you guys get on top of the buildings and start shooting. The guns are not adjustable. They stay in a fixed position. So you have to really be strategic about which gun you are getting to. And if you guys know that the guns are adjustable, let me know because I have tried to adjust them and I could not. So yeah, there's also a meteor shower that is supposed to happen. I have yet to see it. I believe it is random. So I will be letting you guys discover that on your own. I mean, this update is so full of really cool stuff. There are things that have come into play, such as the privacy settings on our very own, on our very own property. We actually can have simultaneous item placement limit increased to 10. There's a new telescope in the Oceanarium. Oh, so much stuff. If you guys are not playing Livetopia, I highly suggest getting into this game and playing it now because it is way fun and it's absolutely one of my favorites. Uh, I, I know I've been saying this every, oh, ouch. Yeah, Heather still can't drive. It's okay, it's okay, I still have fun. And this car is hot. This car is a VIP car, uh, so. <laughs> If you guys want to drive a cute little car like this, you need to get VIP in this game. And it's worth it, in my opinion. It is worth it. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I really, really love this game. I, I think that the updates are amazing. The aesthetic is totally mine. Like, I absolutely love it. It has definitely stolen my heart from Brookhaven, not gonna lie. This is where I plan to spend most of my time and I hope you guys will join me in it. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know you watched. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, let YouTube know you would like to be notified when I post something new on the channel so you don't miss out on any of the fun coming down the line. And there is lots more fun Roblox content coming, I promise. Until next time guys, bye.